Hey dudes, welcome back to Delta's Games, and in this video, if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm showing you how to rewire an old Xbox 360, you remember the originals, um, it's over there, I don't know if you can see it in the background, but I'm showing you how to rewire a old Xbox 360, the original, the heavy bulky ones, to a Xbox 360 Slim. Okay, start off, um, you're obviously going to need to disconnect your power cord, so on and so forth, and you're going to need some tools. Um, if you can see in the video, it's going to be a box cutter. The pliers were just there, just in case I needed them, really. And um, the main tool you're really going to use is a box cutter, as you see right there. And then, the, like I said, the pliers are there. If you need them uh, lighter, you can use to melt. And electrical tape is what you're going to need mostly, too. Okay, so, basically, obviously you can tell, I already started cutting the wire of the old Xbox uh, 360 power supply. Basically, you're going to cut this through. Now, this is going to take time, and it's going to take long because of how thick the cord is and what they have under it. Um, don't worry about cutting the wire. As you see here, I'm speeding up for you guys because it took me forever. But the technique you can use is to go around just loosen that rubber coating. That will help you cut through it faster. And um, it's it would make it easier for you to cut through, but you can just saw right through it. I did it with a box cutter; it's not that hard. So once you got that cut off, um, you're gonna wanna basically throw that wire out because you're just gonna need the power box supply wire that's left. And then you wanna go to basically um, s like take the top layer off of that rubber to um, I guess um, whittle it off if you're thinking of it that way. And you just want to get that rubber off and everything around it just so you have the wires. So just to give you a demonstration right here, as you can see me just pulling off that rubber, you're gonna, probably going to have to go all around. It's not just going to um, luckily uh, pull off with that. I got lucky somehow. The, the, the rubber split, but um, basically you just want that rubber off. You don't want to cut through to where the wires like you're going to need to. Um, twist them together. You just want to take the things that are covering it to protect it. Next thing you want to do is basically uh, take your other power supply that's shot. This is the Xbox 360 Slim power supply. Line them up and figure out how much wire you're going to use or need. Uh, you can do this by taking the wire and marking it down with a sharpie or pen. Next thing you're going to do is basically um, uh, make sure that all the wires are there, they're okay, and there's no damage to them. And, uh, and actually, I was che checking just to make sure that there was, uh, uh, there, there was, there's the same colors there. Um, um, but actually, the one that I'm touching right now had more wires in it because it was a higher watt, so don't panic when you see that. There is going to be extra blacks and yellows, I think. Um, and then the slim's gonna have one extra grace. Uh, you don't have to connect those. You can just cut those off once you're done wiring them. But basically, in, as you see right now, I'm or not me, but um, my assistant is peeling back all the crap, the rubber, the uh, metal uh, um, surroundings around the wires you're gonna need. As you see right there, that's all peeled back. And you're gonna take the other uh, cord that you cut from the Xbox 360 Slim power cord and basically remove that too. That so that way you have room to um, maneuver the wires and rewire them. So you want to at least move uh, that crap back a decent bit, and um, so that way you have room to maneuver the wire and twist and make the wire together. And this is just me pushing it back farther, just to give you a rough f estimate on how you're going to need. Um, you want it like an inch or two maybe. Maybe that's too much, but that's about basically what you're going to need. And as you can see there, I'm just peeling that crap back, the metal aluminum. And uh, just cutting that off so that way it's not in the way. You can cut those. It's basically just like metal um, string strung together. You can just get scissors or use the box cutter knife that you have and cut that off. Um, you don't really need it because it's shot. It's basically torn apart. It's going to be impossible to re um, to rewire those things to the other wire. So it you're. Oh, good. I'm I'm going to show you how to put the wire to th them back together. But you're not going to need that metal stuff that's around it. The electrical duct tape 
tape that I have, or not duct tape, but electrical tape. And this is what you're going to use to, um, once you're going to, basically what you're going to do is take each wire and twist them by separately. You can't take every wire and twist them together. It's not going to work. You're going to have to do one by one wire and twist it and then duct or electrical tape it so that way it stays together and it won't interfere with the other wires. So just to give you a demonstration, I um, didn't fast forward through this. I'm just going to show you um, how it's done. I screwed up on taking that off the... Uh, rubber coating, but basically what you can do if you don't have like a rubber or, or the wire cutter uh, tool uh, You can just use your teeth. You just bite down hard and pull up and it will take that rubber surrounding around the uh, wire So you can twist them. You just want the inside. You don't need the uh, You're gonna have to remove that rubber um, Surrounding around the wire to um, twist them. You can't have that rubber or surrounding or else it's not going to work so you, you can take your teeth like I said and just bite down and pull up and that will take the rubber surrounding off and this is just um this, yeah this is me when I finally took the rubber coating off this is just me showing you what you can do um you can take the what either end of the the power supply or the wire twist one and then take them and then twist them together they don't have to be you know facing each other they can be pointed up and twisted them because of how you're going to tape them you're going to tape them anyway so it doesn't really matter um so in this clip here um i'm twisting them and then holding them up side by side making an x uh, basically an x and then twisting them and they'll stick together and that's how the power will be transferred sorry about the poor camera view on this one I wasn't paying attention and you do that with uh, every wire the wires that you're gonna twist I'll show you um, because I didn't just, uh, record the whole thing but those are the wires there and that's me showing you that the wires are connected um, you're gonna need the um, red wire red to red um, red to red black to black blue to blue and yellow to yellow and you're just going to tie those ones. Those are the ones that you're going to need for this to work. You don't need the gray one and you don't need the extra black or yellows on the other, the original Xbox 360 power supply. Those are just because it's a higher watt. And now we're going to test this out. That's, I use basically electrical, electrical tape to protect it and just wrap it around um, instead of just trying to twist the metal um, aluminum that they had in there. So we're going to turn it on. As you can tell, it stayed on and the power supply is holding. And now I'm just going to sit there and just to show you guys that this thing didn't turn off or it didn't die. The power supply hold. Um, and it's actually my brother's playing right now as I speak and it's still holding. Uh, there's nothing. It um, prevented stopping it or nothing. And it's not overpowering it too. So that's the good thing. It stayed. That was just me checking because it was making a sound. But I forgot that the fan is going to be louder because it's. It, like I said, these the original Xbox 360s are um, a lot bigger, so they had bigger fans in them, so they're going to be louder. So don't worry if you hear that noise. Um, and if you're just worried that it's um, too loud or there's d dust in there, you can take um, air, a can of air spray and just spray it through the vents and that will clear the dust out. And this is just me showing you that it works. Um, and I have it hooked up to the TV this time. So that's the Xbox. I'll actually have a flashlight coming at any minute now. That's the Xbox right there, as you see, it's on, the disc tray is out, and now I'm going to show you the power supply is on and ready to go. Right there, you see the green light, and the wire is just hooked up still, there's nothing disconnected, and it's still the same thing that it worked on. And then we're going to switch it over to the uh, HDMI output that I have on, and let's watch this thing go. There it goes. It's live, it's working, and it holds. So yeah, guys, that's how you do it. Uh, if you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Um, if you liked the video and this helped, leave a like. Um, if you haven't already, if you haven't seen my other videos, you can click here um, or on my face to go to this gameplay that I did to check that out. If you haven't already, why not hit that subscribe button to get daily updates on when I post. And if you have any more questions, uh, technical difficulties, or something that needs fixed on Xbox 360, let me know down in the comment section and I'll try my best to do a tutorial on it for you guys. Or even PC desktops. Thanks for watching and I will see you dudes in the next gameplay episode.